Good evening. I'm Valerie Richards. I'm Alicia Richards. So glad you are with us tonight. There are horrific allegations of abuse. The police say may have been carried out by a group of minors against a child in Carlisle. Sarah Wilson has been looking into this story and she joins us now live in our studio with more. Sarah. Alicia, Valerie, Carlisle police originally did not release any information about this, but told me they felt they had to after harmful information was spread on social media. Police in Carlisle investigating the alleged sexual assault of an 11 year old on a borough playground earlier this month. The information only just released by officers after a flood of social media posts from the alleged victim's mother. Since the release of these posts, a lot of misinformation has been spread. Carlisle police releasing this, saying it's to protect the quote, well-being of all children involved. It comes after one post on the mother's Facebook named the minors she claims were involved in her child's alleged assault. This information has been seriously disparaging and is negatively affecting the mental health and well-being of children in our community. According to Officer D. Martell with Carlisle Police, officers did respond to what they say appeared to be a fight on a playground near Factory and C Street September 15th. Carlisle Police say a detective spoke with the alleged victim and requested that anyone involved come to the station for an interview. Police did not say if anyone else was interviewed. Police are also not releasing the names of anyone allegedly involved because they're minors and because no charges have been filed at this time. And I think it's going to cause a great deal of difficulty. Legal experts, including the Cumberland County District Attorney, saying that the parents' social media post could hamper the investigation, especially if charges are filed. You could convict somebody in the court of public opinion. You could deprive them of uh, the right to a fair trial because you could taint um, you know, potential jurors. Former federal judge John Jones noting one of his biggest concerns is the juveniles' names now on Facebook. The reputational harm is is manifest. It's huge. That permanency uh, on the Internet is really um, a, a problem and can be very damning. I reached out to the Cumberland County District Attorney. He declined to comment. In the studio, Sarah Wilson, Alicia, back to you. All right.